Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. This is a bonus video. I wanted to talk to you guys about my visit from the doctor. Let's get started. First of all, you guys know I do not have medical training, so everyone that wants any type of medical expertise or advice, it's best if you do talk to your own doctor. So I wanted to share that first. I really do like my doctor. She is referred from a, some dear friends of mine, and I have to say out of any doctor I've ever gone to, the particular people that work in that office and my particular doctor are fabulous. I cannot say enough wonderful things about them. I want to start with that first. Now, she saw that I lost more weight. She is really very, very pleased at my weight loss and my health. She's especially pleased that each and every month I'm now doing new things to improve my health, such as this month I'm incorporating more water, and then I told her that I'm also wanting to incorporate more vegetables into my diet, and she's very pleased with that. She says that we should just take it slow and that even, you know, not to start off crazy trying to go on some kind of crash eating plan, make slow changes that are sustainable that you can live with. She really is a big believer in that, and I agree as well. Just to kind of let you know, I didn't get blood work done this time. I'll have that done in December, but my sugar levels last time were good. My blood pressure both times last time, exactly 120 over 70, which is good. I do take a blood pressure medication, but it's on a very low dose, and it's just enough to kind of stabilize it and keep it where it needs to be. My cholesterol is borderline last time high. She didn't feel, doesn't feel right now that it needs medication, but it's something that needs to be watched. So next time, we'll with the weight loss, we'll see if my cholesterol has changed. So that's where I am right now. She's very pleased with my progress. I did tell her that I've been getting some leg cramps at night sometimes, and she said many times that can be attributed to not getting enough magnesium and potassium. I did notice drinking more water has helped that, and I'm getting them a lot less, but I think I'm going to work on incorporating more potassium and magnesium in my eating plan, so I wanted to share that. This is the advice, and I feel that it's good sound advice, that my doctor told me. I know there's all sorts of wonderful supplements out there, and maybe your doctors have suggested that some of these supplements may be a good fit for you. Maybe after they do your blood work, they think that that may be something that would be good to incorporate into your health plan. But I had mentioned you know, to the doctor about a supplement I was maybe interested in taking, and she said it was something that I didn't need to take. And she said also, be careful of supplements, because many times people diagnose themselves and don't read how much a particular ingredient is in the supplement and just start taking things without knowledge of what they're really taking. And there may be things that they either take too much of or they just simply don't need it and it's a waste of money. So the big advice she gave me is make sure to check with her on any supplements because she wants to be aware of what I am taking. Also make sure it doesn't interfere with medication. So that is some really good advice. She wants me to continue losing weight. She didn't tell me a goal weight. She wants to just take it slow. I told her my original goal weight right now is 170, which I'm 15 pounds away from right now. But I told her that I may want to go lower, but I'm just taking it slow, and she likes that. She doesn't know yet what my goal weight should be. She thinks 170, 160 is a good target, and then we'll regroup then at that point. So I just wanted to share some good things with you guys. I will be doing another update in December and let you know. That will be even a more interesting uh, video because I'll have all my blood work available to kind of tell you about that if you're interested. If you want to talk about your health in the comments below and share some of your experiences, feel free to. That's all for now. This is Money Mom signing off, and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.